Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. So today we will take a look at all the Flashpoint Time Capsules emblem. So let's get this party started with our friend Flashpoint Batman. So here we have the enhanced version of the Flashpoint Batman emblem, which is pretty darn good looking if you ask me. And also, uh, for people who are somehow missing the official Batman emblem, like we had the Batman uh, 80th anniversary emblem, we had the Batman from the BVS uh, movie emblem, and uh, for those of you who don't, don't have that emblem, this actually makes a pretty darn good looking uh, Batman emblem. So again, this is the enhanced version of the emblem. And here we have the regular version of the Flashpoint Batman emblem. And obviously, I'm using the Stalwin Defender chest piece in order to be able to, to get the biggest emblem I can get. But you can also see, uh, like you can see behind the character, the enhanced version on the drapes. So there's some quite some nice uh, textures and, and some nice animations within those emblems. And here we have the enhanced version of the Joker emblem. And you can see there's some nice animation. There's like some dripping blood animation from the, the emblem. Uh, the emblem does support two colors. You can see there's uh, like some some purple at the top of the emblem and it, it fades into red uh, towards the bottom. So it does support two colors. And here you have the regular version of the emblem. The regular version seems to support only one color. And here we have the enhanced version of the Flashpoint Aquaman emblem. It's a pretty darn good looking emblem. They're, they're all pretty darn good looking. And if somehow you're missing, you, you never had the official Aquaman emblem, this is a pretty darn good option to have. And here we have the regular version of the Flashpoint Aquaman emblem. And next we have the enhanced version of the Flashpoint Cyborg emblem. I have to admit, it's a pretty darn good looking emblem. I love this emblem. Ironically enough, we cannot get an emblem with the Cyborg gear. We have the Cybernetic gear and the Bionic gear that are official Cyborg's uh, sets of gear. But somehow, none of these uh, support an emblem, sadly. So I had to use the Stalwin Defender chest which allows me to have the biggest emblem I can have. And also I'm using the Spindrift Shoulders, because why not? Just to show off the emblems a bit. And here we have the regular version of the Cyborg emblem. Uh, the regular version looks uh, nice enough, but uh, this is a case where clearly I much, much prefer the enhanced version of the emblem. And here we have the enhanced version of the Flashpoint Wonder Woman emblem. Uh, I already made a video about the, one, uh, the Flashpoint Wonder Woman set of gear. Uh, there's already an emblem built into the gear, so you cannot, uh, sadly, the, uh, the gear doesn't support an emblem. But if for some reason you do not want to use the official Flashpoint Wonder Woman chest piece, uh, you could decide to use the, one, the Flashpoint Wonder Woman emblem with any chest piece that you like that does support an emblem. And here we have the regular version of the emblem. It's a pretty cool looking emblem still, but uh, not, that, not as uh, shiny shiny as the enhanced version, obviously. And here we have the enhanced version of the Blackout emblem. Yeah, Blackout should be wearing a, a black t-shirt. Uh, sadly, I wanted to use uh, the biggest emblem I could have, so I'm using the Star Wars Defender shirt instead. And here we have the regular version of the Blackout emblem. So pretty much the same emblem without the animation. I was wondering at first why they were adding the Blackout emblem. I thought, uh, why Blackout? Why not uh, a handful of a uh, dozen Flashpoint characters? And uh, when I saw this, the animated version, I knew why. They wanted to have a cool looking uh, animated emblem. And next we have the enhanced version of the Subject Zero emblem. Uh, I often saw people wonder when we would get a new Superman emblem. Uh, this would work uh, well enough for a Superman emblem. It's not exactly it, obviously, but it's uh, pretty darn close. And here we have the regular version of the Subject Zero emblem. And last but not least, the Subject Number One emblem. Again, this is technically a Superman emblem. This is the emblem of uh, Superman from the Flashpoint universe. Obviously, it doesn't really look like a Superman emblem. But if you're looking for an official Superman emblem, this could do the trick. And here we have the regular version of the subject number one emblem. And 
and where or where you can get those nice looking emblems let's take a look so those emblems come from the flashpoint time capsule that was added to this universe online yesterday how do you get flashpoint time capsules roughly they drop in the game roughly every 20 minutes so if you've been in the game for roughly 20 minutes as soon as you defeat an enemy or collect a collection or something like that you will get a flashpoint time capsule so those that drop in the game, you have to use stabilizers to unlock them. If somehow the time capsule don't drop quickly enough in the game, you can purchase the very same time capsules on the broker. But again, those you purchase from the broker, you have to use stabilizers to unlock them. Or you can play the stabilizer fragmentation mission to get free stabilizer fragments. And once you gather 15 stabilizer fragments, you will, you will get one stabilizer. So as I mentioned, you can purchase stabilizers from the marketplace and open the time capsules that drop in the game. Or you could purchase the, the flashpoint time capsules in the marketplace already unlocked. So you can get those emblems from the flashpoint time capsules, or you could decide to simply just purchase them from the broker. So if you decide to purchase those emblems from the broker, let's take a quick look at the prices. So you can see the Enhanced flashpoint Aquaman emblem it goes down to about the 5 millions. The Enhanced Flashpoint Batman Emblem goes down to about 7 millions. The Enhanced Flashpoint Cyborg Emblem goes down to about 8 millions. The Flashpoint, uh, the Enhanced Flashpoint Joker Emblem seems to be the, the most rare of the bunch. And you can see it seems to, about, about, to be about uh, 35 million. Oh, 30 million actually. So we got the enhanced uh, flashpoint wonder woman emblem and uh, this one goes by, down to about four million then we get into the regular version of those emblems the flashpoint aquaman emblem so that one are again about four millions flashpoint batman goes down to about again four millions flashpoint cyborg five almost six millions and the flashpoint joker emblem goes down to about five millions so the animated version is uh, the the ns version is uh, much more expensive and the wonder woman emblem goes down to about four four point four millions and for the blackout emblem we can see here the regular version that goes down to about four millions and the enhanced version uh, it goes down to about 10 millions and the enhanced subject zero emblem goes down to about five five point five millions and then subject number one uh, goes out to about goes down to about five millions subject number zero uh, subject number zero goes down to about uh, almost four millions And subject number one goes down to about roughly four millions as well. I have to give my usual broker warning. These are the prices on the broker right now. Tomorrow, next month, next week, heck, later tonight, the prices could be different. Also, these are the prices on USPS4. If you play on the European servers, the price will be different. If you play on Nintendo Switch, the price will be different. If you play on Xbox One, the price will be different. So overall, I'm very happy with the emblems that we got. Not only did we get a brand new Flashpoint Batman emblem, which is pretty darn good looking if you ask me, but we got a whole bunch of nice emblems that, that look really, really nice. And some pretty funky one, like the Blackout one, I have to admit, I didn't expect that at all. I was a bit puzzled at first when I saw that they wanted to add that emblem. I, I thought, why? But uh, now that we saw it, I understand why. So if you're looking for some, some, for some nice emblems for your characters, uh, we actually have a, a bunch of them right now. And I have to admit, again, the Cyborg one, I really like, uh, I really like that one, especially the enhanced version. So overall, this gave us a bunch of great new emblems for this universe online. So I was pretty happy with the emblems we got from the Flashpoint time capsules. Do I wish we would get more emblems? Absolutely. One emblem that has been highly requested by people was a reverse flash emblem. 
Uh, people were hoping that we would get that from this time capsule. Uh, maybe not, but who knows? Uh, who knows what we'll get in the future? So there could be an upcoming time capsule with the reverse flash emblem. I guess we're gonna have to wait and see for that. If you have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below, and I'll see what I can do about answering your questions. I have roughly 2,000 videos about this universe online at this point. So if I don't answer your question right away, just search in my videos. Odds are I already have a video that answer your question. And that's going to be pretty much it for now, guys. So as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.